Recording in progress. All right, we're going to be doing the solid one assignment uh, in SolidWorks, and it's from the block, the wooden block that uh, is here in the classroom. So you'll have to take and create uh, measurements or take measurements using the rulers that are here. And um, I'm going to draw this um, tutorial, not necessarily using the exact measurements, but um, I will show you how to do the process. You'll have to get the exact measurements from the block itself. So we're going to do a part. And we want to make sure that that part is in inches, pounds, and seconds. It's not in metric, it's um, inches. And so we're going to start by saying, I'm going to work on, the, uh, I'll work on the top plane and work up. So I'm going to go top plane. I'm going to go normal two. I'm going to extrude boss base. And I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I am going to dimension that rectangle to the dimensions that it gives or that you took on the uh, on the wooden block. Let's say that mine is seven inches long, three inches wide. And when I'm done with the dimension. I'm going to exit the sketch, and we're going to say that my object is four inches tall. That's step number one. So now I'm going to work on this face. You single click, hold your mouse still. You can go to normal two. And I am going to make a cut here. So I'm going to extrude cut with a rectangle. Started in the top one, like so. Smart dimension it. Uh, this length here is going to be 3.5 for me. Not quite sure what yours is going to be. And then this dimension is going to be two for me. Yours will be according to the measurements you take. So we're done dimensioning. I'm going to exit the sketch. I want this, uh, I want the cut to go through all. Now we're gonna put a hole on this face. So you highlight it, single click on it, highlight it, normal two. And I am going to do a cut with the shape of a circle. And that circle is gonna be somewhere in here. Draw out a circle and then we dimension it. Click on the size of the, of the circle. I have to say that the circle is 1.5 in diameter. And um, the center point to the bottom edge. This measurement is going to be 1.5. And from the center point to this edge. So it is 1.7. Again, I don't know what the actual measurements is. I'm just putting in some measurements. Okay, so I'm done with my dimensioning. Notice it does say fully defined. I'm done. Exit the sketch. And how far do we want to cut this? I want to cut that hole through all. Check mark. And back. Go to this side. Normal two. I'm going to do a cut with the rectangle started on the top edge. Make sure you start it on the top edge and draw it down as dimension. I know that, that the size of my box is one inch, or the size of my cut is one inch. The width or the depth is also one. And the distance from here to this edge is going to be one. Okay, so I've 
given it enough information that's fully defined. Dimension X of the sketch. We want this to go through all. Okay. Almost done. I want to go to this face, normal two. This little triangle here. I'm going to go extra cut behind and from the corner. And then over. So I made my triangle there. Just to mention it. I'm going to say that right here is 0.75. Is I'm not quite sure what it actually is, but that's what I've got. Fully defined check mark X of the sketch. And we're going to cut that through all. Okay, so our object is done. Let's save it. Save as. Design folder, uh, all this solid one. So now we have our solid one object. Now we're going to convert it to a drawing. So I'm going to go new drawing A4 landscape. Yours doesn't show up here. You can always click on browse, scroll down to the bottom. A4 landscape is at the bottom. Open that up. Okay. That's going to create our title block, our borderline. And here is our solid one drawing. You simply have to double click on this. And I'm ready to insert my front, top, and right side view. Now, these are here's your front view, top view right side view. So I'm, this is highlighted. So I've got the front view. Now I'm going to just go straight up, top view, right side view, up the corner, the isometric view. Okay. Uh, note is, oh, let me check mark, I'm done placing them. And you can grab the handles and drag them up. There's, they fit, but there's not a whole lot of room there. So I'm going to highlight my front view here, and I'm going to scroll down Turn on the hidden lines, like this one here. I'm going to scroll down even farther and I'm going to change the scale from a one to two scale. I'm going to customize it. And I'm going to make this a one to three scale. Notice it made my scale smaller. I'm also going to take the isometric view and I'm going to make it a shaded view here. And I'm going to readjust my in the dimension in that. And so we want to make sure we've got plenty of room between our views. Um, I'm going to start by adding in the center lines. We've got our hidden lines, but I need to add them. We go to the annotation tab. Check them out here. So now I'm putting, uh, so I'm going to go cent center line. I'm going to click on. Just click on the edges of the circle and it'll put a center line in for you. If you don't have if you don't have a center line in your circle, you would simply use center mark and click on the edge of your circle. That would give you uh, your center line. Okay, so our drawing is complete. Let's add in the dimensions. So we're going to make sure we're in annotation and a smart dimension. Start on the right side view here. I want to try to keep all of my dimensions inside this area here. Start here and uh, this measurement, one inch. And this measurement, I'm going to line it up with the other. Okay, these two are lined up with each other. And I want to know the overall. So I know this is one inch, I know this is one inch. I don't want to tell it this, but I do want to tell it the overall. Make sure it's nice and centered. That's good. I want to give how deep it is. 
I want to tell how far it is from here to here. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to put down this line and this line. Drag that out and make it even with the one above. And then I'm also going to give this overall dimension. Okay, so I know how tall the top part is. I know how tall the bottom part is here, two inches. And I know the overall is four inches. That means I don't need to give this dimension because I can figure that out. Um, I think the right side view is completely dimensioned. I do want to go to the front view and tell it how tall this part is. And I want to give the angle of this. So I'm going to put down this and I'm going to put down this line. Stretch out a 45 degree here. Uh, I'm going to tell it how far along this is here. And I'm going to tell it the overall length. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to our circle. And I'd like to say from this edge to the center of the circle, and so I'll click on the circle itself, is 1.75. From this edge to the circle, 1.5, and the circle itself, size here. Notice that none of my extension lines and dimension lines are crossing. In other words, I wouldn't want to do this. I don't want to cross my dimension and extension lines. I want to make sure that everything is legible, neat. Um, so I have everything dimensioned now. I know how long it is, seven inches. I know how long this part is, 3.5. I know how tall this part is. The whole thing is four inches tall, and this bottom part is two inches. I have to come up one and a quarter to draw this 45 degree. I know how wide these notches are. I know how deep it is. Um, so I think everything is completed here. I do need to fill out the title block, so I'm going to right mouse click. Sorry about that. Let me go. I think I can right mouse click. No. Okay. Smart dimension. Okay. I'm going to go edit sheet format. My drawing disappears, but my title block pops up. I'm just going to double click on this and call it uh, this. just glitched and my program has now has a glitch in it. Um, awesome, I can't do anything anymore. Hmm. Okay, so to get out of this, you have to right mouse click and go edit sheet and that will take you back to your drawing, okay? Uh, I'm going to pause and try to get out of this glitch. All right, figured it out. Uh, let me just double click in here. You want to put your name in here. Then we'll click out here somewhere. I should say RG5, one your name. Then I'm going to right mouse click again. I'm going to go edit sheet. And now your drawing is back. Everything's dimensioned. Let's save this. Save as. This is going to be a drawing now. This is drawing. So solid one drawing. Let's save that. And the last thing is converting it to a PDF. So you can submit it into Canvas. So I'm going to go print. 
I'm going to change to a print, Microsoft print to PDF. Current sheet should be fine. Now let's do a preview. Looks great. Click on print. And can't get too far. I'm going to click OK on the print. And it takes me to a PDF, save as a PDF. This is solid one. Um, print as a PDF in my advanced architecture folder, save. And that PDF is what you're going to submit into Canvas. Okay. Hopefully, this was helpful. <laughs>